What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Kid Goku Spirit Bomb from Legends. So, this is like GT Goku Duna Spirit Bomb. Landscape page. Use a pencil eraser, hit pause, we'll go too fast. We'll draw Goku and we'll like fit in the sort of semi-circle for the spirit bomb and add some sort of spikes and energy and stuff coming out of it. So let's draw Goku first. His head is pretty small down here, so we might have to zoom in for you. Small face, because it's Kid Goku. So we're going to start with that W shape in the middle of the forehead. Just standard kind of frown that Dragon Ball characters have in the middle of their forehead. Kind of a W. And then the eyebrows come out from there. So you just do this tick. That way. He has a real square end. And then it gets skinnier as we go down. Same on the other side. Square end. Right? And we'll color them black. Don't worry if they're not like exactly the same either. His eyebrows are covered with hair a lot. Okay, then eyes, right? So bigger eyes than what we're normally used to drawing. So he's got like a small line and then a large curved line there. And then you join them together with a curved line coming across his face. And then his pupil. Just in there. And we'll color his pupils black as well. But we'll just leave like a little shine on the bottom there. Like a little bit of white, just like a little white line. And then the other eye, small line, long line. Curve line coming across them. And then pupil. And then just color it, but leave your little highlight down here. So his nose, very small, Kid Goku nose, little curve there, shadow on the side, check marks on the cheeks, little hatching lines, typical in Dragon Ball. He's gritting his teeth, we kind of make it look like he's smiling at first, but then we open the sides. Well, then they're kind of real square mouths the way they draw them. And his teeth just coming across here. And they put in some sort of teeth lines there. And there's a bit of a shadow underneath his bottom lip. <coughs> so, very, very small kid Goku face. He does have like a frowning line there. Can't see it on the other side because his hair. So his face is real round, right? So his chin is like, like just a slight little curve. It's not like pointy or anything. And then a much smaller face coming around here. So we'll go like out for the jaw. And about, see the corner of his eyes there? That's where you change direction. So you go out for, stop at the corner of the eyes. And then it changes your direction and goes up the side of his face. That way. So his hair covers a lot of his face. So we've got like this spike here. And his ear comes out from that. 
around like so. And then more hair spikes. And it's base level sort of Goku. It's just like black hair. And he has like a single strand of hair there. You see like another there. And then a bit of his ear in here. And then just ear lines inside. So little stuff like this. And then the rest of his hair. So coming out from behind his ear, we got like a small spike and then a larger one. And these go around his head. So there's, there's like a little roundy part sort of here, right? And you've got four spikes on this side and three on this side. So we go. And then you leave a bit of a gap. How high up does this go? So it goes like back up to there. Like a single hairline there. And then a couple more. So we go here. Two more, and they gradually get a bit smaller as we go down. Last one. Here. And there's another single one. Right, so even though it's Kid Goku, he is muscly, like crazy muscles for a kid. It doesn't make sense how much muscle he has. <laughs> so the center line for his chest is here. So his chest muscles seem to just like bump out this way. And then they kind of like disappear there. But the bottom part comes around like so. And then we got a nipple. And then his other one. His other chest muscle, I mean, goes up this way. And he's got a ripped piece of clothing, right? That comes across here, and it's just jaggedy. You can do this anyway. But it's just ripped and sort of torn coming across his body all here. It's like a ripped sort of loin cloth kind of thing. It's his gi, but it, you know, it looks like so really destroyed sort of. going down that way and it has like lots more details inside all these torn sections and fabric stretch lines and all that stuff and how far down do we go with this so it goes off the page that way really right And that's blue, right? So then his chest goes underneath. And then we can see some neck muscles here. Another one in there. And his arm, so say his side body, just here. And we've got some more sort of fabric actually ripped. So that's like the side of his body there. And then we can see some more side body on this side and some more ripped stuff. Okay. And then we got some abs. And 
just there and then like some more sort of muscular lines and stuff here like so so his arms then go underneath his hair right so we can see like his shoulder sort of going in behind his ear here and his tricep sort of just stretched out that way his tricep on this side this will go up to hands like behind his head raised up we just got to add some like anatomy muscle lines and things like that so say like an armpit sort of area here and this is like just muscles and muscle lines like that. So this is the start of his forearm. And then his armpit on this side. So it like comes up from it, sort of his chest where his chest would be. <clears throat> there. wristband here right so small sort of stumpy kid arms he's got a pink wristband or like a red one kind of ripped and torn again that way and his wristband is gone on the other side which is interesting pretty cool and then his arm just kind of goes down that way on that side. And his wrist here, like wrist bone. Now, so hands, the joy of joys. Everyone loves drawing hands, not. <laughs> so take your time, hands are tricky. If I haven't given it away, I don't like drawing hands. So, <laughs> um, so his hand is kind of like flat. We're kind of looking at it like this, right? If that makes sense. So you can see like, the bump on the top and the thumb, just the tips of the fingers sticking out, right? That's the way we're looking at it, okay? So we can see that bumping line, right? This sort of two bumps, right? For, for oh, well, that'll be part of the picture. Um, these two bumps, one, two, the palm of your hand, that's what that is. And then we go out around that way and then we can see sort of the middle of the hand skin sort of like here like his wrist sort of comes across that way and then the pinky so the first one up around that way right and then the next one. Next one. You just keep going around like this. And another one here. Like so. So that's one flat sort of hand drawn in. So we'll do the other one then over this side. So it comes out from behind here. So we got this sort of bump, bump thing again. And then the pinky sticks out here. And we got like more sort of palm of his hand, sort of skin bumps and stuff. The thumb will go behind his hair there and we just start like adding fingers that stick up 
around like that and then another one <clears throat> there roughly speaking tricky enough hand position but we got there okay so a half circle right and it's huge and it's probably gonna i'm just gonna bring it down where i can fit it okay i think in the original image it's like higher up so it's like giant naruto's giant rasengan so it kind of like starts i'm gonna go as big as i can right we'll go We'll keep it even, sort of. So, say like we want to go circular, right? And we'll go around behind his head. Okay, that's the kind of size I'm thinking. You could go bigger, like if you wanted to go out here, but then it'll go down further behind his head. So I'll leave it here. And then we'll just... There, okay. Now, so I'm gonna do like another little section inside, just like a light one like a light sort of blue kind of just to have a lighter blue segment and then like the rays of the sort of sun right so they have like all this stuff coming out from here and it gets kind of wider as it goes down <clears throat> all this sort of energy and the direction of it is all like out this way right Just this bl bright blue sort of stuff. All coming down from the thing, right? It'll be all colored blue and stuff like that. You can do more than that, of course, if you want it. There's absolutely a ridiculous amount in the actual original image. It's so cool. I love the Legends pictures. They're quite, they put a bit of work into them. Anyway, that is Spirit Bomb, Goku, Kid Goku. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.